Hey guys, what's up? It's Squib here, and I thought I'd do another commentary on my Ultimate Team. This is just going to be a squad update on what I'm trying to do with Ultimate Team. And uh, as you can see in the top right hand corner, my record, I've played quite a few matches to say I've just uh, started it. But my record's not actually that great at the moment, but uh, mainly because I did start off with, obviously with a crap team and uh, started losing a lot of losing a lot of matches but winning is not my priority at the moment I'm trying to get some pretty nice goals for you guys and it's certainly working at the moment I've got uh, quite a few nice ones so check out the compilation on my channel the newest one if you haven't already seen it because there's a few featured in that um, so I'll get into my squad and I'm trying to build up a Brazilian skill squad so obviously on ultimate team there's a lot of cheap kind of Brazilian players that have five star skills um, and that's what I'm trying to you know use those and then build up some coins and buy like obviously the better players like Robinho and stuff eventually um, that'll be a lot better because it'll be easier then to win matches not just get the skill goals and stuff and hopefully after that I'll be able to make a second team which I'm going to use with the skill is like to wrap and Ben Arthur hopefully eventually so let's start off with the goalkeeper and it's Jefferson he is a, he's a decent goalkeeper 81 rated um, but he is Brazilian so that makes all the team chemistry pretty good and the centre back plays with PSG is Alex and he has an absolute beast long shot his shot power is 95 which I think has got to be the highest or one of the highest on the game so that's a big benefit of using him um, this guy, what's his name? Oh god. Uh, Edu Drakensa or something like that. He is a he's an alright player. Um, he, you know, he's just uh, good enough anyway for the uh, Brazilian squad, that's what I use. And as you can see on the left I am using a 433 formation. Uh, it seems to be working alright. I'm not sure whether to change to a uh, more attackive formation, put more players up the pitch, but other than that it's pretty good. And on the left back I have Adriano for Barcelona, 75 rated, I thought he'd be more than that, I thought he was a higher rated player but he was kind of cheap and on the right back I have Danilo, plays for Porto and uh, he is a great player, he's great to play with in head to head seasons and that's what I used to play, I used to play a lot with Porto, uh, fits into this squad nicely. So I'll go into my midfield and I'll start with the only Brazilian player, now the only uh, player who is not actually Brazilian in this squad yet, but the only reason I've got him is he is an absolute amazing long shot taker. I think his shot power is 95 as well, actually, or something close to that. Um, and he's he's so accurate with his long shots, so hoping to get some pretty nice goals with him. And that is Guarine. Um, absolute beast of a player. Um, why am I changing my formation? <laughs> absolute beast of a player. So to the left of him is Carlos Alberto, five star skiller. I'm sure you'd know that if you're up to date with your Brazilian skillers. Uh, he's a quick player and he's, he's good but the only problem with these players is their fitness goes down quite a lot because uh, obviously they're, they're not the most highly rated, they don't have the best stats. Um, to the left of Gua uh, to the right of Guarín we have Diego Souza and he is an amazing skiller, I actually really like him at the moment. He's quick with the ball and his fitness is a lot better than the rest of the team. He links off up brilliantly with Rafael Sobis who obviously five star skiller again but his fitness is awful he always keeps getting injured but so as soon as I can I reckon I might change him put him in my subs and try to get another skiller in hopefully and the only like the only striker who's not five star is Gr I still don't know how to pronounce his name I'll just call him Grafelmly Grafelmly tell me how to pronounce it if you know how to Grafelmly I think <laughs> um, G U I L G yeah anyway he's a great long shot he's unreal I, I just you can't miss with him if you're from my like, edge of the box you just can't miss I'm not sure what his shot power is but the accuracy is absolutely awesome he's four stars for skills so um, not don't fit into the five star zone very well that's the only reason why I might change him but other than that he's a great finisher long shot's brilliant you can always rely on him if you need a win at the end uh, so going to Jadson and Jadson is a five star skiller and I'm sure you all know him as well he's just a quality player all round uh, really enjoying playing with him at the moment so as you can see I've developed my squad quite nicely since the last video um, that I was showing my squad um, so hopefully it'll just keep getting better and better obviously if you look down at the bottom I need to change out my reserves and subs because um, they're all the people I kind of started with I haven't got into that and like replace those with some skills that I can use 
But other than that, I'm really enjoying um, Ultimate Team. It's brilliant, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get some pretty decent goals with this team. So thanks for watching, guys. Please comment, rate, and like, and be sure to subscribe for a lot more if you already haven't. And I will speak to you in the next episode.